Hi, this is how to play Somewhere Only We Know, the Lily Allen version, uh, and this is part two of the tutorial. So in part one, uh, we, we learned to play the notes of these chords um, that we'll, we'll be using. So now we need to look at the arpeggio pattern that is played um, uh, that's played using these chords. Um, so if you'd like to zoom in to my fingers, Callum. Um, I'll quickly uh, play you the chords again. So we played four times, three, four, B flat, D minor, middle finger inversion four times, um, C minor, thumb inversion four times, then F, middle finger inversion four times. So please watch part one of this tutorial and really make sure that you've got those chords perfect before you try and go to this part of the tutorial. Otherwise, it's just gonna get, get really difficult. So assuming you've got that absolutely perfect and you've really run through part one, now we can have a look at the, the pattern, the arpeggio pattern. Now, starting with the B flat, I've written out here, can that all be seen okay, Callum? No, apparently not. Um, this is the arpeggio pattern. Shall I move that to here for now? Um, so I'm going to move that, in fact, I'll move that up there, and I shall move this arpeggio pattern to there. Is that good, Callum? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, so this is the B-flat chord. Now, this is, in the, the, this is the thumb, middle finger, and little finger on the chord. Now, for the arpeggio pattern, we're going to count four beats. And on the first beat, you play the middle finger. So if, assume you've got the correct fingers on the three notes of the chord, the uh, B flat, um, D, and F. Then uh, basically, you then play for the first beat, counting four beats, you play the middle, ignore this because this is the left hand. So first beat, you play the middle finger, like that. Second beat, you play the thumb. Third beat, you play the middle and the little finger together, like that, okay? And then the fourth beat, you play the thumb again. So you always play the thumb on every other beat, but the first beat, you play the middle finger, and then on the third beat, you play the middle and the little finger. So all together, very slowly, play this with me. You play middle finger, thumb. Top two fingers, thumb. Middle finger, thumb. Top two fingers, thumb. Um, now, in order to play this song, you're going to be using this pan all the way through, at least in the introduction, you'll be using this pattern all the way through. And if you don't know the pattern really, really well, you're just not going to be able to play the introduction. I would suggest that you work very hard at, at basically trying to teach your fingers to play this automatically, so you don't even have to think about it. Um, it's like um, driving a car or something. You have to, you, if you want to get to the point where it's all automatic, changing the gears um, and putting the clutch down. You don't want to be thinking about it. It's the same with this. Um, when we start adding other components, you don't want to be thinking about this. This wants to be automatic. So I put a good deal of time into playing this and getting this right. The simple way of learning to play it and, and trying to teach your brain to play it automatically without you thinking is if you play it 300 times, <laughs> you probably think that's rather a lot, but it isn't really. It probably, if you play it every day for like five minutes in, in a week, you know, you'll, you'll have this really, really good. Don't try and rush these things. If you, if you try and rush and jump to the next stage before you've got each stage sorted out, then you'll only end up finding that it's a big mess and then you'll give up piano probably because you think that you're rubbish. Whereas actually what it was, the problem was that you just didn't spend enough time getting each component sorted out before you move to the next stage. So play this with me and I do suggest you play this every day and you really get used to this for, for quite some time before you try adding the other components. So let's play this together. So middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, middle finger, thumb, Top two fingers, thumb, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. If you need to do it even slower, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Do it as slow as you need to do it to get it perfect. If you're making mistakes, slow it down. If you make mistakes, I will say this a thousand times when I do these tutorials, if you make mistakes and you keep making mistakes while you're learning it, you'll only learn the mistakes. So if you're making mistakes, the trick is to slow it down until it's so slow that you're not making mistakes, just then repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, but accurately, even if it's really slow. And if you repeat it a hundred times really slow and you come back tomorrow, you'll find that you're playing it a lot faster, but you're playing it accurately. 
Whereas if you speed it up in the early stages and make lots of mistakes, you'll just find you learn the mistakes and you'll never be able to play it properly because you're basically training your brain to make those mistakes. So, four times you play that, okay? So, and then you're gonna do exactly the same with the second chord. The second chord is uh, D minor. You just move your thumb down. As we, as we discussed in the, in the first um, part. It's a D minor, middle finger inversion. Um, it's just called three in this key, which is that, okay? So we can do exactly the same. We can go middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Just play along with me. Middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. So you do that um, one, four times, um, and then the next chord is C minor, and it's a thumb inversion. So it's actually use the same fingers for every single chord I would suggest in this in this so, uh, introduction, um, until we do this complicated extra bit here. So uh, same three fingers, this time it's a C minor, so you're gonna go again, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, sorry, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, Middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Okay, so that's your uh, C minor. Then your F middle finger inversion. Is that so? Again, exactly the same. Middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Now there is a slight, couple of slight comp uh, extra bits that, that the piano player does in this song, but we'll leave them till the end. So um, for now, I just want you to get this pattern on these four chords, basically. So um, let's see if you can run through it with me. We're gonna do four times through of this on each chord, okay? So starting from the B flat, it's gonna be middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Third time, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Fourth time, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. Going to the D minor, middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. 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 Now we're going to the C minor. Middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. 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 And then last of all, the F chord. So middle finger, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. 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 If you've done all of that, that's exactly what you should be practicing. Keep practicing that um, until you get it absolutely perfect. As I say, if you play that 100, 200 times, it'll start sounding really good and, it'll get, and you'll, you'll find you can easily get faster and faster. Each day you come back, you'll just find you can do it a little bit faster um, without making mistakes, but keep it slow. So this is eventually what it should sound like. Oh, and if you put the pedal down um, on each chord, so you put the pedal down when you play the first chord, when you move to the second chord, you release the pedal and put it down again for the next chord, and then the notes ring on. You can hear the notes ringing on really nicely. So it should sound like this when you finish, when you've done all of that, and you've done it a few hundred times. Um, so it probably will sound a little bit better than that actually, but um, uh, yeah, so that's what basically what I want you to work on for this part. Just keep working on that. As long as you continue to practice each of these components exactly as I'm teaching them in, to you in each individual part, um, and you work really hard at making and consolidating each part, getting each of these, these, set, these uh, steps in the, playing this piece perfect, then um, even if you haven't played piano before, I think that you should be able to get this up to a really good standard. It just means playing it slowly and accurately, each component over and over and over again, hundreds of times, until that you've got them perfect. And then um, when you put it all together, it hopefully will sound like the Lily Allen version of Somewhere Only We Know. So if you move to part three now, I will show you putting uh, the left hand in with that. And you're really getting close then to playing this pretty much exactly like it's played on the original track. So move to part three now.
Oh, and one other thing I'm going to say, actually, sorry, is um, in terms of teaching you about middle finger inversion and thumb inversion, which is something we looked at in the first part, um, I do a whole tutorial on playing the three inversions of each chord. Uh, and it's Piano Lessons for Beginners um, Lesson 2. So if you go onto my Phil Warren, if you go onto my, um, uh, what do you call it, page? Um, sure channel thank you <laughs> if you go onto my channel and look up piano lessons for, t for beginners uh, lesson two that will take you through playing all the inversions and I really recommend you go through that because it's really important before you try and develop on piano that you get all of those inversions really really good because all of your piano playing um, from now on will use those inversions so you want to have them absolutely perfect and you don't want to be thinking about how to play those inversions so uh, I would encourage you to go and look, watch that that uh, tutorial as well so uh, if you move now to part three we can add the left hand 